Welcome to my video series, Audio Tips and Tricks. Over the years, I've discovered inexpensive ways to improve the performance of my audio system and enhance my music listening experience. I hope some of these tips and tricks will help you do the same. The objective of this DIY project is to add ultrasonic cavitation to a spin clean record washer system to enhance the effectiveness of the cleaning process. Purpose-built ultrasonic vinyl record cleaning systems can cost anywhere from $1,000 to $4,000. The AudioDesk system is a fully automated cleaning system. It was introduced in 2012 and is still being sold. Another option is to use a general-purpose ultrasonic cleaning machine. This representative unit holds 6 liters of water, includes a water heater, and uses multiple transducers to generate cavitation bubbles. In addition, you will need to purchase third-party add-on devices such as this contraption to lower, spin, and raise several records at a time. The Spin Clean Record Washer System is manual and cleans one record at a time. Its water tank holds just under a liter of water, Two soft pads help remove dirt from the record grooves. Movable plastic rollers are used to immerse different sized records. The kit includes a bottle of cleaning solution and lint-free drying cloths. The parts for this project are a spin clean record washer system, a 110 volt 100 watt 40 kilohertz ultrasonic cleaner power driver board plus one piece 60 watt 40 kilohertz transducer for ultrasonic cleaning machines integrated circuit. You will also need a two pronged AC power cord, an equipment box to house the printed circuit board. Uh, you could choose between a plastic box or a metal one but since this unit's going to be near water, I would recommend a plastic uh, enclosure box. You will also need a metal plate to transfer vibrations from the transducer to the water bath. I am using a galvanized steel connector plate that's used in house construction. The transducer will be affixed to the galvanized plate by means of uh, contact cement or other type of adhesive. The steps are to attach the AC power cord to the wires from the J1 connector on the printed circuit board. Next you will attach the wires from the J2 connector on the printed circuit board to the transducer. The red wire goes to the positive lead, which is this contact between the two ceramic plates, and the negative lead is this other contact, which is between the, the uh, stainless steel metal housing and the ceramic plate. You will also need an AC single pole single throw toggle switch to turn the power on and off to the unit. This toggle switch is rated at 10 amps at 125 volts. Using a hacksaw I've uh, cut a slot that's three inches long by one and a half inches wide and I've also cut a couple of slots uh, about a quarter inch deep by one half inches wide so that it'll go over the lip of the uh, spin clean um, edge. I'm using lukewarm tap water and filling the tank up to the recommended line. I'm going to use one cap full of this spin clean 
washer fluid. Some ultrasonic cleaners recommend using a wetting agent such as Kodak PhotoFlow. If you're only using water, uh, using PhotoFlow would be recommended as it uh, breaks down the surface tension of the water. But if you're using a cleaning fluid, uh, there should be a, a wetting agent uh, already inside the cleaning fluid. Uh, you can tell when water is sheeting rather than bubbling up on the record. If it's bubbling up on the record, that means there's no wetting agent. Spin Clean recommends rotating the record clockwise three times and counterclockwise three times. What I'm going to do is rotate it three times clockwise, lift the record up, flip the side over so that both sides get ultrasonic cleaning action, and then rotate it another three times. This is version 2 of the vibration plate. If you'd like to try and create a design that increases the intensity of the vibrations, one of the more useful tools is a smartphone app from the Google Store called Vibrometer. It's a vibration measurement app and it will give you the maximum value as well as the mean value and you can lay this directly down on the plate and measure the intensity of the vibration here's the vibration intensity of the original galvanized steel plate Thanks for watching this video. I hope you were able to find some useful information to help improve the performance of your audio system and enhance your music listening experience.